Hey, what's going on guys? Janet here from Bring It Coaching and in this video today, I'm gonna to give you four ways that you can break through a fat loss plateau. So if you've ever been in a position before where you're on your journey to getting fitter, trimming up, losing X amount of fat, dropping down the scale, three, four, five, six months go by and you've made tremendous progress up into that point where you no longer can drop any more fat and you look in the mirror every single time and look, and you see that nothing has changed. Well, I'm gonna give you four ways how you can reignite and kickstart that process that got you to where you were today. And the most important thing about this topic is not to do all four at once. It's a very tricky thing when it comes to dropping body fat. You don't wanna to do too much all in one go. It's very important to do one thing at a time. So the first one being, which is my go-to, is always look at my food and my nutrition. Where is my nutrition at today? Because what you did four, five, six months ago isn't gonna work for you today. So if you carried on with the same diet, eating the same amount of food, same amount of macronutrients, same amount of protein, to what you did back then, chances are it's not going to work, hence why you are in the position that you're in now. So as your body evolves, as it progresses, as you get leaner, as you start to build more muscle, as you start to reduce your body fat, there's no way you can hang on to the same amount of calories as you once did six months ago. Muscle demands fuel, it demands food. So just like a car demands petrol, you know, it costs to run a car, that's what your body is essentially, is asking for more fuel to be put into your body. And generally what can happen is, because we don't want to eat too much, because we have a phobia or a fear of thinking that if I eat too much food, I'm gonna start gaining weight. But the thing about that is, as you progress on your journey, like I mentioned, as you start to get leaner, your body needs that fuel in order to progress more and more so you can build more muscle and drop some body fat. So that is always the go-to. Look at your food, track your food again. If you haven't done that in a while, that'll be the first place to go in tracking your food and just see where it's at. You may need to increase, small increase by maybe 150 to 200 calories per day and then give that two to four weeks and see what progress you get. My second tip is training. So are you still doing the same workouts that you did four or five months ago, you know, the body needs a shock because what tends to happen again, the body adapts to the stimulus that you put onto it. So all the training that you've been doing, all the hard work that you've been doing to get there is great. But if it's the same workouts and if it's the same level of intensity or the same amount of sets or time you're spending in the gym, then you're not really gonna be making much progress. So you do need to give your body a bit of a shock. And that just may mean simply just doing a different routine, do something different in the sense of changing up your resistance training program, getting a few additional working sets in, uh, trying some heavier weights over the next coming weeks. You know, set yourself up a little goal when it comes to your resistance training. Or it could even be something completely diverse and maybe you might just want to go swimming. Summer's coming up, get yourself in the pool, go swim some extra few uh, lengths in the pool or do some long steady walks, go for an hour or two. You know, really set yourself some time apart so you can actually get some of that new training stimulus in. And the third one being is stress overall. So your stress levels, how have they been recently? Is there anything going on in your life? So at this moment in time where you're really, really stressed and you're struggling to, you know, reduce that stress and that in turn is having a knock on effect on how you deal with your day to day, which can impact how you go to the gym. There's some of the decisions that you make when it comes to your food, maybe Maybe you're sleeping later than normal. Maybe you're spending a little bit more time on social media and that's having an impact on how you just go about your day. So reducing your stress is vitally important in order to get you those gains that you've been after and making sure that progress continues you know, week after week. And number four is recovery. A big, you know, highlight for me is uh, recovery. So, you know, you can smash the gym all you want. You can go in day by day or every other a day to smash a workout. But if you are not recovering, if you're not taking that time out to recover and make sure that your body is fully optimal in order for you to go in day after day to get those workouts in, um, if it's not where it needs to be, you're going to struggle because you're just going to be working at probably 60, 70, 
5% and you're not going to be able to give it you know your 90 80 plus percent when you're going into your workouts so you know I'm not saying every workout needs to be 90 to 100 percent every workout different types of workouts will require different levels of intensity and, and, and effort but at the same time you do need to get some of those lower impactful lower intensity workouts in order for you to attack those high intensity workouts so for example just going for a long steady walk going for a light swim hot yoga is one of those ones that i've recently discovered going in for a steam room sauna great for recovery hot and cold showers is great as well you must keep on that recovery in order for you to keep on going and so it's just like in your workplace have you ever experienced burnout in your job you work in endless hours 12 15 hours in the day to get a project completed and when it's finally done yes the work is done but then you find yourself ill and you've got a cold you're bunged up and the, that time that you do have off you're probably recovering because you've worked so hard endless hours and for you your body just you know it's taken on that much stress when you've finally come to relieve from it your body's catching up to you to get to those you know to restore you to those normal levels so these four ways will help break through those flat loss plateaus that you may be experiencing from food changing up your food intake adjusting your calories number two changing the training level of intensity training the workload changing your routine and number three you know having a hold on your stress levels monitoring how you're feeling throughout the day take some time to reflect on things your thought patterns and number four is recovery going out your way to make sure you get the recovery done it may not be the best or exciting thing to do but it's definitely 100 important hope you've enjoyed this video guys make sure you like the video comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you want to get started with us you can click the link in the bio we're offering a seven day free trial at our studio in hall green birmingham